What's going on everyone? So it is the daily UI design challenge day number 10 update. So the goal for today was create a social share option. So I decided to create something similar to like a social media post. And then I included the social share buttons down below. And that's essentially the design for today. So I didn't put it on a mobile application like an iPhone frame or desktop. I kind of just made it more just like aesthetic design for the day more ui base and uh kind of copied or got inspiration from a website social share option i've seen like years back but then i decided to just like reinvent it and then rotate it and whatnot but um i haven't seen really many uh at least from the websites i've seen their designs like the social share icons i did here a lot of people did stuff that I've, i haven't honestly never seen before so just like my little twist but typically the um if you've seen some websites, like if you've made stuff with WordPress, they have this sort of design, except it's like on the left side and they're like boxed down like vertically. But this way I just did it like this, pretty simple. So ideally if you had like an iPhone frame, it'd be like, um, like this. And then simply let me just duplicate this. And then it'd be like that. And then essentially you could have like, you know, whatever other options you have down below but pretty much that was like the um, initial start i had it on an iphone frame and then I, I i ended up making it just like this because it didn't make sense to like leave it empty but um design wise is pretty basic the one part that i learned today that um people if you're watching this for the first time you're not too sure is this like sort of um as if someone like printed this with like a horseshoe kind of thing where like it indents inside so essentially, if this is your first time on my channel, by the way, I'm essentially documenting uh, myself doing UX UI design. So if you want to follow along that journey, definitely go down below and hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. But going back to this design here, so um, simple rectangle, I mean, spacing wise, I'll just double click. You can see the um, width just even out. The frame isn't really relevant because I did design it based off of iPhone, so it did fit perfectly with... Um, with the 16 by 16 on the side. So if I were to show you, let me put that here. It should be, yeah, see how it's, it's perfect um, spacing on the sides with 16. And then I transitioned it over to, um, right there, see that 16 by 16. Transitioned it over to actual frame. So for this part right here, I just got, you know, Facebook logo off Google. And this is pretty much a rectangle. And then here's the logo right here. And the initial one, it's it's like this this F right here. So let me see if I can um this is the initial logo right there. So it's typical Facebook F. And then all you need to do, so if I take this off, it looks flat. So all you have to do is go to effects and basically add it in a shadow. So if you add one, you'd switch it to inner shadow, and then you just go here. I mean you can play around with this, the blur. I did like two, and then boom, pretty much done. And that's basically how I did it. And I did that for every single logo here. Same with Twitter. Uh, YouTube was kind of funky because it's um, the actual image I had was kind of already three dimensional with like a gradient sort of looking on there. At least to my eye, it looks like that. It has like this little shadow right there. So I, ideally, I mean, I didn't really look too much for a flat YouTube logo. But I mean, obviously, it could be a little better if I found one. And I tried to add a cover on the top to make it um, like pure red. But that didn't really do much. So if I were to go like solid and just straight up do red and do like, you know, like what, like 20%, it you just big it, it just, it wouldn't do what I'm trying to make it do. Where I make this entire image red, I'd probably have to do like Photoshop editing to do that. But um, here's LinkedIn too. It's the same concept, just image indention. And that's pretty much it. And then the one thing is too here, um, if you notice the, the corners outside Facebook's corners curved, and so is LinkedIn. So I'm using like five, I think. It says mix, but I'm using five for that. But then I ha I used to have it originally, these were curved up too, but it looked off. So I wanted to make it, um you know, flat and concise where it all flows together. So I've made the um, YouTube both sides here flat and then also the um, Twitter zero so that it's like an evenly looking thing like this. So when I zoom out, it looks like that. And that's pretty much the design for today. So if you enjoyed this video, Give this a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, and let me know in the comments below any um, feedback or you just want to connect. Comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.